What do you make about the president kind of going after the Fed chief? Presidents want, you know, the Fed to ease usually. They're usually not as loud about it as President Trump is. But uh, I don't think that's really going to shape how the Fed approaches policy. Uh, one thing that's happened recently is that uh, because of the fall off in energy prices and, and a couple other factors, uh, inflation has actually eased off. You know, it's a rational time to be concerned about inflation ramping up, but inflation has eased off recently. And I think that's going to ease some of the you know, data driven pressure on the Fed to raise rates. Um, you know, I've heard some commentary that says the president may be putting the Fed in a box that they're going to have to raise rates in order to demonstrate that they're independent. But I really do think that, as they have all along, that they will make a decision on the merits here. Yeah, you're doing a little game theory on us there. I like it. Basically, like they didn't want to raise rates, but now they have to raise rates because the president says they shouldn't raise rates. I mean, this is all very confusing. When you talk to you, your, when you talk, you can to game theory. You know, you can game theory yourself to death with this president yeah. and this administration. But I think at the end of the day, you've got to look at the fundamentals, and the fundamentals are going to drive Fed policy as they have all along. Is there inflation pressure on the Fed to raise rates? And so far, the answer is not really. Oh, okay, I was going to ask you, you read my mind. What would you do if you were Fed chief? Would you raise rates again? And how many times? Well, the, the Fed is in rate raising mode. The question is how quickly and whether they'll be forced to move more quickly than they'd like. And, you know, uh, it is rational at this stage of the business cycle to say that inflation is a concern, but it hasn't really become a concern that's going to push the Fed to move in a direction they don't want to. Okay. Outside of the Federal Reserve, Patrick, what are you and your clients most focused on right now? Equity valuations, which are at their lowest point in nearly four years. Um, so there's this gloominess uh, around the market that is not matched by the economic data, which remains pretty strong. I mean, there are soft patches that you can point to and concerns that might become bigger concerns down the road. But, uh, you know, we're not staring at a recession in the face right now. And, and I think we've got a market that's acting like that's the case. Uh, one immediate thing is uh, going into the G20, whether there's going to be a ceasefire with, between the U.S. and China on trade. There are some political motivations uh, to have a ceasefire, not least of which is to give some reassurance to markets to, to look at that more positive data instead of worrying about what might happen. Um, but So you, you've given us the bull case. Valuations have come down. The economy is pretty strong. So that means that valuations may be more attractive. If you had to make the bear case for the macro, macro markets, Patrick, as I'm sure your clients will force you to do, what do you say? What are you worried about? So the bear case would be a death by a thousand cuts. It's not one thing that tips the U.S. economy into recession. It is you know, trade. It's weakening growth abroad. Um, it's, uh, it is the fact that it, at, at some point inflation is bound to pick up uh, uh, with, with unemployment where it is. So... You know, there are a number of things that could happen. Brexit is on the horizon. Um, what China chooses to do in terms of response to the trade war or response to a slowing economy, whether it chooses to try to continue to allow its currency to weaken, all of those things could add up to an equation that creates some serious headwinds to yeah. growth. But we're a, not a, seeing a box, that yet. A boxer doesn't have to go down when they had that one huge, you know, le sort of left hook to the side of the face. I mean, you could do 100 body blows and wear the boxer out, and that's kind of where it feels like we are right now. But, but, but I think it will take some time for that to you know, gather enough momentum to really change the direction of the economy. What, we've, what we're seeing right now is an economy that is slowing but not turning negative. And the same thing is true with corporate earnings. We're not going to see the great corporate earnings growth that we saw this year that was boosted by a corporate tax cut, that was boosted by uh, a surge in, in share buybacks. But we're also not looking at it turning negative either. And so, uh, you know, some of, the, some of the negativity that we've seen in the market and this, the fact that these valuations have come down so much uh, over the past couple of months, that uh, I, I think that's a bit overdone, at least given what we're seeing so far.